Hey, what is up, everybody? Uh, everybody on YouTube, really appreciate you watching this. Uh, working on a film study video, two of them, for the Egg Bowl and the Iron Bowl. But this is a clip that I just had to share with you. It's from Joe Moorhead, the head coach at Mississippi State, on my radio show today. And we actually went over some X's and O's and broke down three or four key plays from State's win in the Egg Bowl. Had to put this on here, share it with you. Really appreciate you watching. If you have a question about this, or anything we said in there, comment below. I'll try to get to all of those that I can. And again, thanks. Hope you enjoy. And then on that same drive to cap it, that Nick Gibson touchdown. And I was watching that play, and you know, there are several things that jumped out about the play. One is the right guard took their defensive tackle and just slammed him down all the way across the play. And the other was how Daryl Williams, the center, steps up on that combo to the linebacker. And once he got the linebacker, he turned him sideways and ran him into the corner, so he effectively blocked two players. And, and I just thought, you really couldn't block it any better, could you? They did a great job up front. That was a, that was a split zone bluff RPO, where you know you're reading the end man away from the point of attack for the giver of the pull. And uh, you know with the, that odd front that a lot of people in the league play that with the, the four eyes, you know we're running inside zone to the boundary to get good good numbers and angles. And as you mentioned, McQuinston did a great job at the point of attack with the four eye. You know, Darrow and DP with the combo on the nose off to the backside backer. And, uh, you know, sometimes that split zone action with the tight end coming across creates a little bit of indecision with the linebackers. And Nick, Nick found a crease, and, and he really hit it. We're talking football with Joe Moorhead, head coach of Mississippi State. The Kylan Hill block out in front of Garrett Schrader's first down run on third and 12. Kylan's out on a pass route, and then he realizes my quarterback's running. And he turns and didn't just look up a guy, but he knocked him on his rear end. When you watch that on film, you kind of go back to how you coach him. You have to do a little fist pump. Well, you have to be excited for Colin. And I think since the Tennessee game, we kind of had to you know, sit down and talk about, hey, we can't just be a ball-carrying specialist. You've got to be great during practice. You've got to be great with pass protection. We've got to be great when the ball is not in your hands. And I think since that point, Collins played his best football this season. Third and 12, we had an over-under uh, triangle concept, you know, with a short crosser from the X, a 12-yard uh, dig route, and then the back was a check down to complete the triangle. They were in a, a quarter steel coverage, kind of covered up all the routes. You know, Garrett hitched up and, and ran, and, you know, Collins saw he wasn't getting the ball and turned and got a block. And I've been as proud as, of Collins of his mental development and his consistency and his blocking as I am as well, Karen. And, you know, he's leading the SEC in Russian, so that says a lot. And um, we'll get into this later in the show if you're listening, but um, Kylan Hill may be a favorite for that uh, Connerly Trophy that's going to be given out tomorrow. We're sure hoping so. Yeah, leading the SEC, a heck of a deal. Last, last one I want to ask you about, Coach, is the first of all, the decision on fourth and three to go for it down there, and, and it ultimately leads to the score. You're in that snug formation again, and to, yep. the, to the wide side, so to Garrett's right, it put Dedrick Thomas as kind of the inside receiver in that snug formation. And then uh, the, um, uh, the big guy, um, number five, st standing outside him on the line. So you, you bring the outside receiver crossing. Dedrick goes up the field and crosses. And then with the way they kind of lined up in their formation defensively, Coach, was it a deal where they just really didn't have anybody there deep to cover him? Like he's – he was just running away from the backside corner who couldn't run with him. Yeah, you go back and look at that in terms of the leverage. It's a pure progression read, so you're sending all the crossing routes to the boundary. So the boundary run receiver ran a 12-yard corner route, and then number two fraud ran a flat. So it's a high-low stretch right there. So you're looking to throw the flat, unless it's take it away. Then you're up to the corner route, and if both of those aren't there, then you're across the board. Osiris ran the low crosser, and the backside inside backer jumped in. And what that did was open up a nice window uh, for Dedrick, and he had you know leverage on the guy, and you know, drifted a little bit on the route. And I think uh, Garrett threw him upfield a little bit, but you know in terms of, of of an open space to run into and a good spot to throw the ball, I thought the protection was good. I thought Garrett drifted a little bit, could have stood a little firmer in the pocket, but you know Dedrick came up with four catches for forty nine yards in that game, and probably none bigger than that play. Yeah, no, no doubt. So to go back, so I'm clear, you're saying that to his left into the boundary. You had basically like that old smash concept, high low. Yes, sir. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, uh, you know, we hear a lot of times, Coach, uh, you as a coach, analysts, others talking about going through progression. So technically, as a true freshman quarterback on fourth and three in the second half of his first Egg Bowl, 
He's initially reading a high-low with two receivers to his left and worked his way all the way back around to that crosser on the backside, and now he found him? That was his fourth reading of progression. Yes, wow. Sir. Yep. You know, he's um, getting there. This kid, he's he's going to be special, Matt. I promise you. And I know in and out a little bit this year was dealing with some injuries, but you know to have a, a true freshman come in there and play the way he played, we've seen spurts with the rock here. Uh, Garrett, Garrett Schrader is going to be a special football player for us. So, again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Don't forget to hit that bell so you get notifications because – Again, some film study stuff coming. And what's really going to be fun is as the bowl matchups and championship weekend matchups come up, we're going to have some of these championship games to break down. I'll post the videos here and previewing some of uh, uh, the bowl games that we'll have coming up. So looking forward to all that. Really appreciate your support. And again, give me a follow if you haven't already. Thanks.